there are two types of videos. One which I like to make and two which you like to watch. Usually they overlap with each other. This is not that video. And I'm okay and I'm totally fine that probably there are high chances that you are not gonna like this video. It's okay. The most common question that everybody who makes programming video gets, what laptop should I buy for programming? And my usual recommendation is go ahead, buy a MacBook Pro, which is not really a very cheap device. It's expensive and I do agree not everybody can afford it. Some people just take the recommendation, but others just say that, hey, I cannot afford this, which I totally understand. Can I buy a MacBook Air? And my reply to that usually is, yes, it's definitely much, much better than a whole lot of Windows device because of the software compatibility. But when you're, when you're buying a bike, of 300cc, don't expect to be a fat boy Harley Davidson. Then the stuff that comes up says, I just don't want to buy any MacBook. And can I buy a Windows laptop? And I would say 100%. You're not gonna be facing any problem in the Windows machine. You will be able to do all of your React, Angular, machine learning, Python, Ruby, PHP, whatever you really want to do, you can actually do it. And in case you are worried about the machine learning part that will I be able to train my models on it? No, you won't be. That you cannot do even on a MacBook. Usually such things are done in the cloud and to access the cloud, you just need a browser. So you are totally fine in that case. Then obviously the next thing that comes up is, can I do gaming on this laptop? Now obviously you are missing the point that you are trying to hide your agenda and you are trying to say, I want to buy a laptop for gaming, but I also want to do programming. They are completely separate thing. Now here's my point. If you want to buy any laptop for programming, any laptop with having eight gigs of RAM, a decent graphic card, and if possibly try to have an SSD, it's gonna work absolutely like a rocket. But programming is not that intensive as in general. Surely if you're training models or running Android simulator, that's a whole different picture, but there are alternatives for that. Now in this, la in this entire video, I'm not giving you any affiliate link in the description section that this is my recommendation, exact model number. And that's the reason why a lot of people are gonna go mad on this video. That why are you not giving me the exact model number? What's the point of this video? I do have a very strong point here. Let me tell you that. Now listen to my point very carefully. Whatever is your budget for buying the laptop, whether it is 50,000 rupees, 1 lakh rupees, $1,000, $2,000, keep that budget aside first and foremost. Now take out $300 or let's just say 20,000 rupees out of the budget and just buy the laptop with the remaining amount of money. The reason why I'm saying you this is no matter how good the laptop you buy, it doesn't really matter until unless you know how to use that laptop. You just buy the most expensive machine and then you don't have the money to buy some good books, some good courses, and some hosting services or maybe some software plans that can actually enrich your experience. I think there is no point of buying the most expensive device and then don't know how to use it. I'm not saying that go ahead and just buy my courses. No, I'm not saying that's not the point. Just buy from whoever is your favorite instructor or buy the best book, whoever the author is, or buy the services from Adobe, GoDaddy, Netlify, whoever is your favorite, doesn't really matter. But the point is you're buying the best of the best machine, but you are spending and trying to just reach out to these companies and sending me messages and hundreds of other instructors that, hey, your $10 course is expensive. Hey, your $20 course is expensive. Now, you don't understand the point that you have spent so much money in just buying the laptop. You could have saved a little and could have worked up on your skills and then could have earned more. And probably the next big machine that you want to get is MacBook Air, and that's not really far away. So make sure that you understand this point. It's almost similar that I'm buying the best of the best camera that comes out next year or next month, and I don't know how to shoot photos. What good is this camera gonna do for me? Absolutely zero. I know you are spending a whole lot of time in trying to find out alternative of Photoshop or trying to get that course for free somehow by messaging that instructor. And there's nothing wrong in that. I'm not advocating anybody here. But my point is maybe, maybe you can spend just a few bucks on that subscription of Photoshop or maybe on that course and somebody is looking for the services which you could have made in that time. You could have designed that amazing logo for your app that might be eye-catching for a potential employee who might be hunting for such services. I'm not advocating anybody, but 
Stop wasting your time in trying to search for the best laptop. Everybody wants to get the best out of the money. There is nothing wrong in that. But make sure you spend a little bit time in separating the money so that you can buy the best services and the best course that you really want. And that can speed up your process. So make sure you also consider that. Hey Tesh, does that mean that you are not gonna be making videos where you provide your affiliate links and recommend the exact laptop number? No, not at all, this doesn't mean that. I will still be making those videos, but this is the advice that I really want to give and th those are the videos which you really want to watch. And if I'm not gonna make, be making videos which are being watched much more, I will not be able to pass on this advice which I really want to give and which really has a meaning. So yes, I will be still making those videos too. So just stop hunting for the best laptop, just buy whatever is near to you and whatever you can grab and save some money. I'm pretty sure that with your skills, very soon you're gonna get hired as a freelancer or maybe as a professional gig or maybe even as a job. And very soon you'll be able to buy the laptop which you really want to buy. Don't worry too much, it's gonna be all right. I won't be saying subscribe to this video, Surely you can do that, but I would say that at least pass on this video in your college group to your seniors or juniors so that at least they can get this misery out that which laptop to buy. And make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel because we're gonna come up with a whole lot of videos and you're gonna enjoy them a lot.